Hello, my name is Osai Tresomokaro. I'm a business consultant, I'm a business coach, I'm a business leader, and I mentor startups to help them structure their businesses, take their ideas from their head, and hit the market running. I decided to create this channel to be able to democratize what we have always been doing in training and empowering startups. The goal behind this channel is to take some basic life concepts, break it down so people can be able to have a clearer understanding and be able to take action. Subscribe to this channel as the content will empower you a great deal. Just click the subscription button and also tap the bell so you can get notified whenever we jump out our content. Wow! Welcome to another great episode of App Series. Mr. Five. My name is Osayi Tresomokaro and I am always your anchor. I have a passion for taking live basic concepts, breaking it down because my core in life is I want to see people take action. So anything that limits people from acting, I want to do whatever I can to, to break that limit of them. So that's the essence as you start the mystify. Yeah, some of these concepts might not necessarily be mysterious, but we just want to break them down. We just want to shed light on them so that people can see them from a totally different perspective and be able to begin to work on them, work with them, and work against some of them as they limit them. Today, we're just going to be demystifying yet another very basic concept, something that we all overlook. Because we never really thought it matters. One of the Mr. Five, what I tag the software of life. One of the Mr. Five, the concept of belief. What is belief? Belief is something that we're not conscious of, and it practically determines 100% of the results that we get. Belief is a mental acceptance of a claim to be true. Belief is faith or trust in the reality of something. This is something that is so underlining that we don't take cognizance of it. But the truth is, until we begin to deal with that, a lot of the things that we try to change in humans can hardly be changed. You know, belief is to man what software is to the computer. No matter the quality of the computer you have outwardly, no matter how beautiful, no matter the aesthetics, the reason people will price that computer at a rate that is ridiculous is because of the software which determines what this computer could do. I had to buy a laptop recently. I really never bothered myself about all of the internal compositions of a laptop. But I had to buy one recently and I was beginning to see price difference. You know, and I asked questions and I got to find out that some of the things this one can do, even though this one is finer, but some of the things this one can do, the other one cannot do. So because of that, the price has to be different, sometimes over a hundred percent difference, you know, and they might not necessarily be finer. So your bodily outlook, as good as it is, may never be the determinant factor of your success. What's determining the success that you could record and we ever record? It's your belief system. So how then do we deal with our belief? Just as you can never say you really believe something until you begin to behave it. The same way we can't change people's behavior until we are able to change their belief system. Belief does one thing. Belief expresses itself in our actions. So you can't really say, I believe this thing until you're beginning to act on it. Let's look at this example. If we are all in a room, and all of a sudden, someone screams, snake, snake, snake. If you believe that screaming, the very next action you take is that you run. If you don't believe, you remain seated. You just tell yourself, this guy is playing pranks. So you really never believe anything until you act accordingly. 
Someone asked me recently, sir, you're so keen on this mindset, belief, and all of that. How can one begin to work or develop their beliefs or their mindsets? That's simple. I'm a Bible boy. If you read Proverbs 4 from verse 23 or thereabouts, it said, Guard your hearts, for out of it flows the issues of life. And when he began to break it down, how to guide your heart, he said, guide what you hear, guide what you see, and guide what you say. So, that thing that has built the mindset, that has built the belief system, that powers your life today, are these three gateways. Your eyes, your ears, and your mouth. Your eyes see, which registers in your mind. Your ear hears, which registers in your mind. Your mouth sees, which reemphasizes what your eyes and your ears have heard. And it gets deepened and deeply engrafted in your heart. Before you know it, you are now an autopilot. Living this life, not conscious that these things that you see, these things that you hear, is controlling every other thing that you do. So, if you must determine, if you must begin to take cognizance and consciously work on your belief system, you must begin to think about the books that you read, you must begin to think about the messages that you listen to, you must begin to think about what comes out of your mouth, because these three things determine your mindset. That's part of the reason why we come out with what we do. If you follow us on all our social media handles, you will see how much we do to make sure that we are changing people's beliefs. Because we believe that to do better, people must believe differently. Yes, we really don't need much of better behaviors as much as we need much of better belief. Because people will behave what they believe. So let's do whatever we can to keep working on strategies to change people's belief system. Once people begin to believe right, they will behave right. And the outcome of their life will be ultimately good for every one of us. Thank you for sharing this time with us. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to always bump in on you. We ask that you subscribe to this channel if you are yet to do that. If you have, do your best to share our videos. Get as many more people to subscribe and continue to watch. We believe that what we're doing is blessing life because we're seeing the impact and we're seeing the comments from people and we're seeing the engagement. We trust that as your belief system begins to change, everything in your life begins to take a new shape. Thank you very much. I remain Usai, Tress Omokaru. Thank you.